What's your name? It's Roisin from and Dublin. Means rose in Irish. Yes, right? yeah, little rose, exactly. Oh, you're from yes, I'm from Wicklow, but living in Dublin with my family. Yes, yeah. It's so nice. I heard it's so nice. Yeah, no, it's it's a beautiful city. Yes, yeah, and the people are good and as well. When did you come the first time to Medjugorje? Um, well, my dad actually took me here in 1989 yeah. um, with my aunt, uh, two aunts, and himself. So it was very different. I was telling my kids the other day that there was no shops, so we had to get ice cream from a guy on a bike. And he'd have a big uh, ice box, and we'd get the drinks and the ice creams and everything from there. So, but it was it was still beautiful, still peaceful, like it is today. So yeah, it is very so good. So the spirit didn't, didn't change. No, no. That's, that's I mean, I know there's a lot more uh, hotels, a lot more restaurants, but obviously that's needed so more people can come. So, but the as regards the peace and everything, it's still here. It's yeah, yeah. It's and how often have you come in? in um, we came, after that. I came in about two thousand, and then I came for two or three years, and then obviously the kids got older, and we brought them back in twenty sixteen, mm -hmm. and we've been pretty much coming every other year since then. Apart from COVID, we we had to stop, and then we've come back again. So and they love it. You don't want to go anymore to South of France. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we, we do. We might go to maybe Malta in January with my mum, but we Malta? love. Yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. Where do you stay in Malta? In Malta, in Salima. It's yeah, 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 yeah. It's. Oh, okay. St. Julian's. St. Julian's, yes. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. So my mum likes going there, yeah. but she came out here with us this year and she's 91. Yeah. So she said, okay, I'll come out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she's been before uh -huh. and uh, and she's really enjoyed it as well. So why do you come back all the time? It's, it's just as obviously our, our lady, she invites you to come back um, and it's just you get such a beautiful peace here, just time and prayer, but then you also can have a nice holiday. So for the teens, they come and it's lovely for them to see other people, other teens practicing their faith, you know, going up the mountain. So they've gone now two or three times each of the days up the mountain, either Apparition Hill or gone up Kusavak. So they, they really enjoy it, you know, and then they can have have nice time with their other teens as well. Yeah. And for you, the, the favorite spot in Medjugorje? My favorite spot is probably the Blue Cross, you know. Yeah, yeah. We With my mom, we sat there for a good while um, a few days ago, and it's just beautiful. The peace there is, is fantastic. We watched the butterflies flying all around, and yeah, it was just so lovely. Yeah. And also this time we actually got to Oasis of Peace mm -hmm. and they were having adoration there. So we spent maybe two hours just sitting there and part of the community came in and did their prayers and it was just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So very, very... Oh, I en encourage everybody to come. <laughs> why would you tell people why are you Catholic? Yes, yeah, we're Roman Catholic. And why? why? What is the beauty of your faith? Oh, it's just, it's so rich that, you know, we truly have and can receive um, the body and blood, the precious blood of Jesus Christ every day. Yeah. And um, out here you can go to Mass maybe two, three times a day and then adoration. So we know that he's truly present there and you can feel it. Yeah. And especially out here then our mother is calling us um, and it's a little bit like her hospital. Yeah. So you can come here, she'll look after you and she'll put people in your, in your path. Mm -hmm. that will answer questions for you or if you're worried about going to confession you know somebody will say a word or whatever and then you know it'll encourage people to come and go to confession as well mm -hmm. yeah yeah very very powerful and what yeah. is for you confession well it's a chance of just saying okay lord you know i messed up and mm -hmm. uh, didn't do that so well and it's a chance just to ask for his forgiveness mm -hmm. and to start again and that's what it is you know so he he forgives us We should forgive ourselves, and it's your chance then, especially Divine, we've just had Divine Mercy Sunday, mm -hmm. um, and, and that's a beautiful, beautiful devotion as well, where he clears all of your sins. Um, so it makes you stronger for going forward as well in these uh, times. We, we lose us, no? Yes, yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah. you said a good point, I think we all have to forgive ourselves as well. Yes, yeah, that's it, that's it. We don't do that. No, no, and they carry it with them for many years where they could get rid of it, be lighter, and move forward again. Joyful, yes, right? yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yes. You pray the rosary? We do, um, and we try to do it um, as a family each day. 
um, and then we're also part of a group back in Ireland I'm not sure if many people have heard of Home of the Mother so um, it's a, a new order that's been in Ireland now for a few years and the kids would be involved they go on summer camps midterm camps and we just had a huge uh, Easter encounter in Clongos in Ireland so there was over 600 people there for uh, Holy Thursday right up to um, Easter Sunday and Easter Monday then it finished up so you know so it's important for the kids to be around other people as well um, and they have an influence on the other kids and let them know why are you so happy you know and that's what's happening they're wondering what do you have that we don't have and it's starting to have a, a knock-on effect which is beautiful yeah yes, yeah it's very important I think to, to share the faith yes to be with other people not alone that's it that's it yeah exactly and, um, what changed in your family when you prayed the rosary? Um, well, we're probably more tolerant of each other um, as well, more forgiving. Um, and, and it just gives us everybody that time to recollect. Um, you know, in the evening, whether it's after dinner, we, we do it then. Um, and we started doing that even more intensely during COVID. Obviously, we were all together. Um, and that was one thing, one of the good fruits that came out of it, that more prayer as a family, you know. So it'll strengthen us then to go forward as well. Yeah. And what would you tell your younger self, if you would be 16 now, <laughs> what would you give as an advice to her? Um, stick close to Our Lady, you know, hold, really hold her hand and she'll take you forward. You know, she will guide you. She'll bring the people into your life as well and take some people out. But I would say just stick close to Our Lady and Jesus. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Yes. And what? Why, why Our Lady? Can you explain why to maybe a Protestant is watching? Why Our Lady? Yeah, so? yeah, absolutely. Which she's our mother. She's the mother of God, and so she loves us, you know. And and she really wants us to bring all of us. It doesn't matter what faith or where you're at in your faith. She wants to bring all of us to her Son and ultimately to, with her to heaven. And that's and our that's role, only role. It's not the goddess, we don't pray to her. No, no, no. She's our mother. She's helping us and bringing us to her son. That's in One the Eucharist. One of the ultimate gifts by Jesus on the cross. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And you the divine will prayer meeting. Yes. For, for you, did you make the experience when you live in the trench and die will be done that you're much more peaceful? Uh, yes, yeah. And, and I'm still learning, obviously. I'm still a novice. But it's just, it's teaching us that just you know put everything in with him that he's doing it for you in you you know that it's not on our own like we really are just we are nothing for his allness um, and and I love that beauty of it so you know it takes the pressure off us but obviously we just give everything to him and he's looking after us and taking us through. You made the experience that it's, it's so in real life. That's a real lifestyle. That's right. Yeah, and and um, you know, and I've experienced that. There's no fear. Mm -hmm. There's no fear with the Lord. I mean, anything could be happening to you and in your life, but He just takes care of it. He's already taken care of it. We just have to fulfill our role. You know, so it's yeah, it's beautiful. But I'm still learning. You're still learning. Still learning. You're joyful. You have the peace. Yes. Our lady says you can see it in the eyes of the people you have it as well. And yes. This is amazing to see. Right? Yes. Yeah. And um, <coughs> you are married. What would you give people as advice? They look for a happy marriage. How and can they have a happy marriage? Yeah, I think it's it's forgiving each other, mm -hmm. um, and knowing that we're all on a journey. Yeah. Um, and and just you know it's you kind of have to die to yourself a little bit even in marriage you know you marry the cross as well and um, and I say just just keep going but not to feel that you're on your own obviously your hand is with Our Lady and um, and she's taking you to Jesus and taking you as a couple and as a family as well you know so she's taking care of all of us Did you know you see that in your spouse what you criticize that it's actually a sanctification for yourself? Yes. That you learn, that you grow? Yourself. That's, yes, yeah. And not to, to run from it. Yeah. You know, um, I think in our world today that difficulties come up and you're thinking, okay, you know, that's it, finish with it. Everything is disposable. But, you know, not that's, like you've said, the Lord is taking you to another level. So something will come up, you have to get through it and move on. And he's taking you to a higher level. And that's the beauty of it. You see that as well. That's the growth that you're going up a spiritual ladder. Somehow. Yes, yes, like exactly. It could be like a computer game. You that's right. The next level, huh? That's right. And and most important thing is to have an open heart. Yeah. Because once your heart is open, then you're allowing Jesus and Mary in to work 
and, and to bring you forward. And it's beautiful. It's a wonderful. It's such an adventure. People might think it's, oh, it's boring and you have to do all these rules. It's not. You just let Lord work through you and, and it's a beautiful adventure. Could you yeah. describe a bit what you mean by adventure? Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. Like, you don't know who you're going to meet <laughs> and you don't know where he's going to take you. So you really, you know, you just want to follow through and, and go, you know, and say, okay, where's it next, Lord? And that's the beauty of it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then you have this encounter now, meeting like here That's right, that's right. It's so beautiful what you say. And what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje one time? I would say, you know, I know people might say things about Medjugorje, but I would say to people, come and experience it for yourself. Make up your own mind. Um, and it will, I, I, I believe it will, once you've an open heart, you come here and you will be changed. You won't go home the same person, definitely not. Wow, yeah. Do you have a favorite Bible scripture? Um, well, uh, yeah, I probably have a, a, a few. Um, let me see. Uh, there's one a, a beautiful from yesterday, actually, um, where it is, my Lord and my God. And I just think that's it. That encompasses it all. He, you're my Lord and my God, and you're looking after me. And we're we're all His children. And and you know, like any father, He only wants the best for us. But we just have to give our yes. And once you give your yes, it's a roller coaster. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Wow, exactly. What a <laughs> and, and how can you have this personal relationship? What do you have with Christ? What would you give people as advice? How to have that? I would say just it's it's very simple you know we can over as as human beings we overcomplicate a lot of things and I would just say just go back like uh, a father and his child just be his child you know um, my my father used to I he passed away a few years ago but he was very like he's like a big child and I just knew our lady wrapped him you know in her arms and I follow through on that as well yeah just just be his child in his arms you could see that in your father yes yes yeah it was beautiful simple faith simple Yes, childlike faith. Childlike faith. Exactly. Yes, so yes. Right? yes, yes. And what would you tell people who have maybe not a father who divorced, he died young? Yes. They got this wound. What would you tell them how they can experience that living God, that father who loves them in every detail? Yeah, absolutely. I just say cry out to the Lord, you know, cry and just, and, and to give him all, everything. Just tell him everything. He wants to hear it all. And then he will, you, you'll feel that peace in you and he'll replace everything that you've lost either humanly spiritually whatever way he will replace everything and go to adoration as well it's powerful Why? yes Why yeah so because it's it's like he he'll renew you you know and and you'll feel his love you know um, I did a few years had a powerful experience in here in adoration in Medjugorje where I just felt like it was like a power hose And he literally just power holds my whole heart with his love. And it's never left, you know. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very, very beautiful. So I'd just say be open to that, where he's taken, what journey he's taken you on. And he'll, he'll look after you as all good, good daddies. <laughs> and we have also the saints. Who is your favorite Yes, saint? yes. Um, I love St. Trey's. Right. Yeah, I Lizou? just think... It, yeah, Lizou. Yeah, yeah. Because I just, you know, she she was just very, very simple, very small, you know, didn't travel the world and do big things, but she did everything for Jesus. And she, you know, died so young, but she accomplished so much and she wants to help us, you know, so I, I, I think she's fantastic. They're all fantastic, but yeah. especially St. Trey's. Said, do little things with love and yes. Big, you know? yes, 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 exactly. even like picking up um, a piece of paper off the ground, if everything is done with love, you know, we can transform that and that's part of divine will. Every act we do, we can do it, but do it with love for Jesus and it transforms them. And yes. be light to the world, as Our Lady asked in the last message, be light to the world. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Thank yes. you so much yeah. for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.